What's up, guys? Welcome to NFDTV. Canes all, Canes all day. If you're rocking with you, you know what to do. Hit that like, subscribe button so you never miss out on a video, guys. Don't forget, make sure you comment questions on these videos because what I like to do is I like to go through the comments, look at some of you guys' questions. If the questions are good enough or if I see them, I will try to make a video off of them just to give you guys more control of this channel. Let's dive into what we're talking about today, and that is Bethune-Cookman. Yes. The Miami Hurricanes play tomorrow. I know that we've been flexing on them SEC boys who came into Hard Rock and we had to kick them boys out. I know we've been flexing on them, but hey, you blink your eyes twice and tomorrow we got to suit this bad boy on. We got to put the helmets on and we play Bethune-Cookman. Now, let's be honest here. We should beat Bethune-Cookman down to the ground. I said down to the ground, right? We should but if you disrespect your opponent, you're disrespecting the game. And when you disrespect the game of college football, funny things can happen. Obviously, I believe Miami will win, should win, and they should win big, right? So let's say that does happen. Here's some things that I would like to see. I would like to see less penalties this week. I would like to see less penalties. I watched the Texas A&M game, and I got to tell you guys, this is just not me being a, a, a someone who loves Miami. There was a lot of phantom calls out there that didn't make any sense. So um, this game, I would like to see us clean it up and look even better on the penalty side of things because if, if, if the game was called like it was supposed to, I don't think penalties would have been as bad as they look. But, hey, I would like to see us play a clean game and control what we can control, and that is the no false stars. Don't be turning over the ball. No muff kickoffs on special teams. None of that stuff. We want a good, clean game. That's the first thing that I want to see. Next thing is, of course, it, no injuries. You don't want to get injured going into the schedule that we got. No injuries. Hopefully everybody who starts and plays this game is this game on a good um on the good side, no injuries or anything like that. Obviously, we don't know exactly who's playing tomorrow because there should be some Miami Hurricanes. I think that probably won't play. Who they'll be, who that will or won't be, we don't know. But hopefully Miami goes in and handle business. Now, when they do that, I'm interested to see Emory Williams versus Ja'Curry Brown. Because if we go in there and handle business like we're supposed to, we should be able to see both of the quarterbacks play. And I got to tell you, I was very impressed, very impressed with Emory Williams when he got in versus Miami of Ohio. He looked like a natural. Uh, so I'm very interested to see him again. Ja'Cory Brown, we have not seen him this year. So I'm interested to see, has he improved? What does he look like? Does he look faster, quicker? Um, how does his um how how is he throwing the ball? Does that look good? I want to see what these quarterbacks look like. And I want to see what the future looks like at that position. So I'm excited to see that. I'm excited to see what the cornerbacks will look like. So um our cornerbacks played good last week, but I still don't think we've been truly tested deep threat wise. If you look at the Texas A&M game, a lot of the passes were short to intermediate and they did throw one deep pass that uh, Jaden uh, Davis should have picked off. He was there, but they were able to get that. That was just, Hey, they just got him. But I want to see what the Brown brothers look like because we haven't seen a lot of them. I'm interested to see what uh, Keontre Smith, because, to Corey Couch, he hasn't looked great. So a lot of people are out there saying, we should bitch to Corey Couch. We should bitch to Corey Couch. And my thoughts on that is to Corey Couch plays a position that is very tough to play because that nickel star position, you got to be able to, to handle the run, be able to blitz, be able to cover. And not only do you got to cover, you got to be able to cover if they go deep, if they go left, if they go right. And that is tough. So a lot of people say we should bench him. Well, my thing is who's going to play that position. So I want to see what other people look like 
playing that position. I understand that we're playing Bethune Cookman, so you're not going to get to see a total evaluation, but I just want to see what it looks like. What it looks like, right? And I want to see how this team handles success. Um, and they're saying all the right things in a press conference. Oh, you know, we, we want to keep attacking. If you get conservative, you get beat. We were feeding. We want the we want our coaches to keep pushing us. That's what they're saying in the press conference. I want to see how they come out against Bethune Cookman. Is it going to take us a couple drives to get going and to beat this team? Or are we going to come out of those gates? Are we going to come out of the locker room? Are we going to get those Bethune Cookmans by the throat and take care of business from the beginning? Those are just some of my thoughts going into this game. I want to see what the quarterbacks look like. I want to see what our defensive backs look like because I'm still getting my opinion on this. And I want to see how we how we look after everybody's been patting you on the back. I mean, damn, we got everybody got an award this week and they deserved it. But let's see how they come out of that locker room. Are they going to come out still drunk? high off their own supply or are they going to come out, put these boys to bed and let us see some of our younger players, some of our backup players, because that's what I'm hoping. And I'm hoping nobody gets injured. Let me know what you think about Bethune Cookman, about this game, about the possibility of our Miami hurricanes going to three and oh, and then of course, leave your questions in the comments. I'm out. Peace. No more defeats.